It was fun while it lasted, but Drew McIntyre's time as the top babyface in this company is over. As WWE's babyface killing tour continues, just in time for live touring. Wow, you're in the mix with Pro Wrestling Big. Drew McIntyre lost to Bobby Lashley at Hell in a Cell in a do or die match and in a spot that the top babyfaces who came before him would never lose, especially in the first year they were being established as the next guy. WWE hasn't even trotted Drew McIntyre out in front of actual fans as world champion yet, but somehow his 2020 momentum has been blown asunder because WWE has sabotaged Drew McIntyre worse than the pandemic did. Because for those of you who don't know, Drew McIntyre is done as a top babyface. Finished. Cooked. It's over. Oh sure, they'll probably try to go back to that well someday, but his credibility has taken enough hits in recent months for me to know exactly where this is going. Even if WWE does go back to Drew and give him that moment people think that they owe him, which they do not, it'll be like Bruce Willis in The Sixth Sense where Drew and WWE are the last ones to find out that he's actually dead because it's over. Top guys simply don't lose in these spots without dire consequences, and we've seen this time and again with potential top babyfaces who suffer these crippling losses. Right, Otis? Jesus, look at that Law & Order SVU face. Get it out of here. As happy as I am for Bobby Lashley, who's been an awesome world champion and needs to face Brock Lesnar one of these days, WWE did not have to kill Drew McIntyre in order to build up Bobby Lashley. This ridiculous 50-50 mentality is one of the many reasons Bobby Lashley has zero potential opponents lying in wait on the main roster moving forward. It's a direct result of WWE's ability to cannibalize and compromise talent, especially when it comes to baby faces. Right, Otis? God, okay, that's enough. Get this creepy Michelin man off my screen. Now, the NBA playoffs in 2021, which have been fantastic, by the way, have provided sports fans with countless narratives and storylines, and each year, the results of these games impact the individual legacies of star players. For example, will Trey Young and the upstart Atlanta Hawks take the next step? Is this finally the year that Chris Paul gets a ring? Can Kevin Durant and the high-priced Brooklyn Nets buy a championship with a star-studded roster? <laughs> Hell no. Bucks and seven, just like I said. Fear the deer, Kevin. Point is, WWE has the advantage to manipulate these same types of narratives to enhance the legacies of its top stars. But instead of using their storytelling to create a potential dynasty for Drew McIntyre, they instead decided to make him their own personal Ben Simmons, a talented loser who lost in a game that he had to win, and now that man has to be traded. Just like Drew McIntyre has to move brands when the draft comes back around in a month. And to be honest, wherever he goes next, I don't want him anywhere near a world title regardless of where he ends up even if he gets called back down to nxt like finn balor did after they killed him as a babyface on the main roster it's over that's the story they're telling drew mcintyre had his chances one too many if you ask me and he failed one too many times if you ask me all this privilege has to end somewhere for drew he's 0-3 against bobby lashley in 2021 title matches go to the back of the line like bobby had to when he lost to you in 2020 or like kofi had to after he lost to brock drew had his turn and he failed there are plenty of other potential top baby faces who wwe hasn't had the chance to kill yet it's their turn to die sit this one out and i don't want to hear about drew mcintyre winning money in the bank or challenging for a world title on smackdown or any type of rematch no you lost a few times and it's over now i understand that there will be pushback to the notion that drew mcintyre is finished as if wwe has had any type of track record in salvaging baby faces when they screw them up right seth no, no, that's not even Seth Rollins. God, get this inbred Ninja Turtle off my screen. I'm serious. With McIntyre's credibility in tatters, I'm sure there are fans holding out hope that WWE's gonna heat him back up. <laughs> that's one of my favorites, heating a guy back up. Have you ever tried reheating a prime sirloin steak after it's been in the refrigerator? It's disgusting. That's what I think about every time I hear people say that the senior citizens in WWE creative are going to heat a guy back up. Because it's not like an award-winning chef using a state-of-the-art range oven to heat it to just the right proportions to make that meat delicious. WWE in 2021, heating a guy up is like taking a quality cut of beef and throwing it into a microwave at 7-Eleven. So if you're here for Drew McIntyre reheated, I hope you brought a lot of seasoning because that's going to taste like shit. And for those of you who don't believe in WWE's ability to kill baby faces, no matter how big they get, as if Drew McIntyre is somehow too big to fail, just ask The Fiend. Okay, see, now you're just trying to piss me off.